We have new information tonight. A heart stopping moment as a high school senior from Obion County suddenly collapsed on the football field was later taken to Vanderbilt by helicopter. News 2's Tori Gesner spoke with his family about that terrifying moment for them, Tori. Alex, there were a little more than two minutes left in the game when Greenfield High School senior Blake Rodehaver passed out on the field and stopped breathing. The game stopped immediately right there. He was revived through CPR before being airlifted to the hospital. Doctors are still trying to figure out what happened, but his family tells me they're just grateful Blake is still alive. Football is in Blake Rodehaver's blood. His dad's a coach. He's been on the football field since he was in diapers. It's where he was Friday, playing for Greenfield High School, when just another game turned into a life-changing event. I just caught out of the corner of my eye that a player was down on the sideline, and I looked around immediately trying to find Blake, and I saw that it was Blake. Passed out on the field, the game clock stopped, and so did Rhoda Haver's breathing. All his mother could do was watch from a distance as medics started CPR. It was the most helpless feeling I've ever felt in my life to watch my baby, and I couldn't do anything to get to him. Several chest compressions later, Rhoda Haver was taken to Vanderbilt via life flight. Parents and players from both sides paused to pray. The Rhoda Havers credit those prayers, the doctors, and the continued well wishes as reasons Blake is still alive today. I knew there was people that loved me, but I wasn't. I didn't know just how many there was. The prayers have Rhoda Haver in good spirits, even while he sits in the hospital and waits for an MRI of his heart. His family is hopeful it'll bring them answers. Waiting to find out uh, what, what caused it and how we treat it. And just looking forward to getting home. Rhoda Haver says he's sore from the CPR and pretty tired, but other than that, he's feeling okay. Once he has some answers about his health, he looks forward to getting back on the field. Alex.